Coyotes and Canadians facing off for the first time of this season. Leah Hesco alongside Cassie Campbell Pasco and Jenny Cole between the benches. A quick shot by Yale O'Neill. Leads to the offensively for the Arizona Coyotes. 27 points. Here's Schmaltz works his way in, tries to put it out front to Travis Boyd. Now right out front. Primo with the save. Second in as he sends it down. Here's Jake Evans. Puts it back up top. Savard across to Sherratt, long shot from the point, just off the mark. Sherratt there takes down Christian Fisher. Travis Boyd working his way in, looking to center. Sends this one down low, Soderstrom will wheel it around the boards to Keller. Now right in front, Boyd takes the shot, he scores! struggled getting out of their zone and part of it was the inability to change Arizona just kept the pressure on but just a perfect placement there by Travis Boyd you want to be inside that dot a little give and go cycle down low with Keller right over the pad of Kate and Primo short side there's another quick shot turn aside by Primo coming off the stick of Liam O'Brien 12 points in 20 games and they're looking for him to get things going but we have to remember Cass is still a young player Kessel sends it across. There's a quick shot, and it's in! The Arizona Coyotes go up two to nothing off the stick of a Johan Larson. You can see a giveaway in the neutral zone as Montreal is in a partial change. This is a beautiful play by Phil Kessel. He just stops up, creates some gap between him and the defenseman, and then he finds this perfect scene. You know, there's two Montreal Canadian players there. They're just unable to get their stick on it. And the Coyotes with a 2 nothing lead as they are out shooting Montreal 6-2. Ben Chirac takes the long shot and Nelson with the stage. And you also think just how great of a goaltender Carey Price has been for Canada, but in a market that's tough to play in. Failing with the shot, turned aside by Vimalka. A lot of pressure. Gottfield will keep this one in and rips it around. Arizona takes over on their own end. They will send this one ahead, but it's back on the stick of Duane at center. He flips it in. Giving chase on it is Devore. Christian Devore, very familiar, right on front to Duane. Stopped by Vimalka. And if that was able to connect between Suzuki and Anderson, they would have had a wide open net as Vimelka had lost his positioning. Just weren't able to get that pass tape to tape with a little bit of pressure from Arizona's defenseman. And there's a turnover right to Drew, and there's a shot, they score! And they go down again and attack offensively, and here's the turnover by Sorderstrom. He has some time, he just takes a little bit... Duran just overskates it, and Arizona will turn this one around. They send it ahead. There they are, one-on-one on, one on the backhand. Takes the shot, but Primo with the save. Now out to neutral territory. Here comes Ryan Paling. He has numbers. Caulfield takes the shot just wide. Montreal seemed to really get their skating legs as the period went along. We'll see what we got in a second. That we will, Linda, as we begin out here. From Gila River Arena. Here's a quick little pass. Pitlick with the shot. It's turned aside. And it will head out of place. We'll have a quick whistle. Needs to get in on a two on one. And here you see him here. He's got two defenders on him. Just move it forward. Win that battle. He does. He gets over to Mosier. Long shot. Primo gets a glove on it. Larson flex behind the net. Sends it around. Here's Cross up top. Mosier with another shot. Doesn't get through the layers. Back on his stick. Mosier pinching in, wheels around, takes the shot, scores! Giannis Mosier has given his team back the two-goal lead. It's now 3-1 to Arizona. That you need, and you can see Arizona, though, just drives through the middle, and that's the key to this goal, is finding the space Mosier. He recognized Josh Anderson's there, the, the guy that's supposed to have him. He kind of loses his step looking for that rebound after the initial shot. Off and back up to line, drops it off, long shot. He like sends this one around. There's a shot by Savard. That you were, have had them happen in previous power play seasons. This one just hasn't gone well for them. Savard takes the shot off the post.
Wide and back for it, taking a look. Montreal begins out, here's Caulfield. He sends it ahead, Aaron passes, here they are shorthanded, it's Keller! He shoots to Primo with the save! It's a drop back pass to Caulfield and Keller reads it and he forces him to make that pass to the middle and then he gets the pass right back and he's in on Caden Primo and Caulfield does a nice job not taking a penalty here, but also... Petrie at the line, just over 30 seconds left on the power play, over to Juan, he puts it down low, back to Juan, little back and forth they go. Man to Petrie, Duran takes the shot and it's in! Redirected in front and the power play goal has the Canadians within one. It's now three to two. Petrie unable to settle the puck down. Well, he does a nice job at the top quarterbacking. It fakes the shot and that brings the Arizona PKs a little bit closer to their net inside the dots which gives more time for Jonathan Drouin right here. He doesn't get all of this shot, but Paling gets all of it. And a little tip and no chance for Vermelka. Just over two minutes to play here in the second period. Uspak trying to get control of it. Both teams bat and win, they score! But he's out there for a long time. You can see him directing traffic. They're putting a lot of pressure on in the corner on Arizona, swarming them, if you will. But this puck just bounces all over the place, and it ends up right on the stick of Schmaltz. And what an effort there in front as well by Roussel. It's a bouncing puck. He just protects him. Uh, Schmaltz is playing well so far. He, he, he got uh, the opportunity to play on the first line there, and uh, he capitalizing, so uh, good for him. Thanks, Coach. Good luck the rest Thank of the way. You. Kelly cross ice. Here's Kessel. Puts it on net right down low. Rebound in front. They shovel away and Primo with the save. Himself look as big as possible. Right here it goes off his stick. Oh sorry, Montepo oh. is in. And there you see Ladd gets a potential rebound. Sherrod and Jake Evans with a good stick there. Kessel taking a look now. He puts it up top for Goss to spare. Back to Kessel over to Keller. Keller takes the shot. And it will direct out of play. So difficult here for Montembeau to read is he actually, Keller, just looked ever so slightly to Boyd. Opens up that stick blade and you can see Boyd's there ready for the tip. And he changes the aim. Glasses fair with some time. He puts it down low. Now right in front for Keller. Keller thinking about it. Takes the shot. Montembeau with a save and he covers for the whistle. But where he places this shot is completely different. And this time it goes from Boyd back up to Keller. A little stick handle which gets Montembeau just to go off balance ever so slightly as he goes from his butt. Suzuki works his way in on his backhand. He's knocked off the putt. Rosier's in on it. As his work right out in front. Nelson with the save. They continue to bang away at it. Dvork now. Sends it over to Suzuki. Back to Dvork. Now here's Schmaltz. He gets it out of his own hand. And here we go. Look who it's on the stick of. And he will skate it right in. And it's just a battle as Nick Schmaltz, with help of his teammate, just puts it to the middle of the ice. He recognizes Keller has the time and the space. And you can see him pointing to his teammates. Just a nice defensive zone play that leads to the empty net goal. Here comes Fisher. He puts the shot on Montembeau. He turns it aside. Ben Sherratt will hold it along the boards. And with that, the buzzer will sound.